it all, you know, boils down to trying to fit in and, and, and just finding your way uh, in, in whatever ocean you find yourself in. Um, what attracted you to the project? It was funny. Hmm. It was so funny. I, I read the script and I, I, I couldn't stop laughing. Um, and that's really what you want. Like at the end of the day, Obviously, it's so nice that it's a Persian American family. Obviously, it's a universal message. But if it's not funny, I, it makes the actor's job like a hundred <laughs> times harder. But um, when I read it and when I auditioned for it, it was just all there because it's it's in the writing. The humor is just there. Um, and that I, I was so excited about. She is your 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 uh, you know cast member as well as the executive producer Nazim. Is she easy to work with? I mean, does she allow a lot of bouncing back and forth? Nassim, you know, from day one, like I would say even during the audition process, it was um, she empowers the actors around her. I mean, she made it very clear that she wanted us to bounce ideas. She was like, if there's a line that doesn't feel natural to you, I want you to tell me, change it, you know, always come to me. I swear, even in the audition which was crazy. Um, so the set, you know, being on set, you you felt like an equal and you didn't feel like, oh, I need to like be in line because she's also the executive producer. Uh, it wasn't like that at all. She's so warm and professional and um, treated, treated me as though I had been doing this as long as she had, which was really, um, really Do something. That does that come from her years on Saturday Night Live and, and doing improv as just being so open to other actors' ideas? Um, possibly. I know she has a theater background. And generally, when you, when, you know, she, she went through a program, a theater program. So I think generally, when you come from that collaborative mindset, you just, you just want to create it wherever you go. Um, so yeah, probably from SNL and then before that from having a the theater background. Well, let's talk a little bit about your background. Uh, uh, you're from Canada. you did you do a lot of theater when you were growing up, a lot of plays and, and all? I, I didn't in Canada. So I left Canada when I was seven. Um, and it wasn't really until I came to the States that I discovered a love of performing. I was, it was actually the year we moved to the States. We moved to Raleigh and there was a school play in second grade and I just <laughs> caught the bug. Um, so I did some community theater in Raleigh and then, you know, just school plays once I moved to Nashville, but, you know, it was definitely just the world of theater for a long time. Will you be stepping behind the camera more and more? I know you're a producer, but what about directing and, and other things like that? Um, I fully support uh, female directors, so it would be nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't see myself shutting off or closing the door on any possibilities or opportunities. I'm always wanting to create. Um, yeah, so I, I wouldn't say no to that. I, that would be amazing. And um, the more female directors we have, like, yeah. Yeah, well, I agree with that, too. I think anybody who spends their life, you know, in front of the camera has a more empathetic view of the world behind the camera. I agree. I completely agree with that. Yeah. In the series, Chad, do you have a, a favorite moment, a favorite episode that, uh, that you can't wait to share with us? Um, actually my favorite episode is the next one. <laughs> um, I, even though I'm, I'm like hardly in it, but it's like, it's just, it, I just love it so much. Um, it's a slight departure in that they go, you know, they leave the house and it's a bit of a journey. Um, but it's very, um, you get to know Hamid, um, you get to learn about his life, which I think anytime you learn about the characters around Chad, it's sort of, um, makes the world more detailed mm -hmm. um but it's very persian too you get to see bits of our culture that haven't been revealed thus far and i just um and it's fun and it seems dad is in it so it's really fun um <laughs> but yeah it's my favorite episode yeah. in our in our final moments we have together by the way thank you so much for your time today it's it's a a joy to speak with you um what do you think audiences will pull from the show once they discover it 
Um, I think that the image of, of the Persian culture has not always been revealed in the way that I understand it, which is that it is in some ways wholly American um, and in some ways not. Uh, but I think they get to see that maybe the images that they've seen thus far in television um, is just a, like a teeniest like stereotype of, of what uh, the culture is. But this really shows how it, it is in reality. And, um, but more than that, people are just gonna laugh and they're gonna find, um, they're gonna relate to it because it's, it, it's a universal message. I think so too. I think I think it's brilliantly done, and and uh, a lot of people don't get it, but I, I think the majority of us who have been through life a little bit and see this 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 kid, you know, just asking these questions, it's absolutely hilarious that way. Um, are you a fan I mean, of Persian food? Are, am I a fan of Persian food? Yeah. Oh my God! Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I love Persian food. Um, uh, in fact, like during the pandemic, it was, you know, I was separated from my mom. And when I finally saw her again, after a year, I was like, you have to start teaching me Persian cooking because I realized that anything could happen at any time. And I want sort of that, that history passed down. Um, and I do, I mean, it's delicious. It is. Okay. And it's delicious to talk to you. How's that for a segue? Oh, uh, well, thank you. It's been out of this interview. To <laughs> You, you are, you're a wonderful guest. Thank you. And congratulations on chat. And I hope to catch up with you uh, for, for the next couple of seasons. Same. Thank you so much.